To make a homemade workbench vise, first I drill some guide holes in this wooden strip. And I drill the guide holes under the workbench top. I drill more guide holes than needed. Now I made two pieces like this one, and I want to screw this kind of toggle latch to them, but it protrudes to the sides, so I have to cut them. And I have to drill the holes for the screws. I also have a couple of long hinges. I have to bend them near the pin. Here we can see how I will put these hinges. The strip goes under the tabletop. I have clamped it on the tabletop so I can install the toggle latches and the hinges. Now this is one of the toggle latches and the screws, but they are not very strong. Ok, now this will work perfectly. So now I can install the toggle latches. It is hard, but it is ok. Like this I can open and close these small wooden stocks. I can now screw the wooden strip under the tabletop. So far 3 screws will be enough. Now this will be the wooden jaw for the Moxon vise. I have to drill there a couple of holes. Here we can see that I drilled the holes just below the grooves that I made in both ends. I didn't record how I cut those grooves, but well, I cut the sides with a hand saw and I use a chisel to clean the inside. Here we can see that the wooden strip is slightly shorter than the distance between the grooves. Ok, I have clamped the wooden jaw in its place against the workbench, and it is well centered against the wooden strip. Like this, I can keep drilling the holes.
here we can see that I made the holes in such a way that they are exactly between the wooden strip and the stocks. A wooden rod will slide inside those holes. So I cut the two pieces and I drill a guide hole in each end. I insert one screw with one washer And like this, they cannot go out of the holes. Now I know where to put another two screws to reinforce the wooden strip. Then these grooves are meant to put there the metallic bar of two clamps and the fixed jaw of the clamps go behind the wooden strip. So I open the stocks, I put there the wooden jaw And here we can see that if I had glued the wood rods, I could only open the wooden jaw so far. But being free, I can open the wood jaw this far. I close the stocks. And here I have the carpenter's mocks on vice ready to start work. I put there the work piece. I put the metallic clamps and I clamp the work piece. Ok, I am using these cool clamps, but normal clamps should work too. You can find a link in the description to watch another homemade clamps and workbench vices. Not bad, it is not the best Moxon vice, but it works quite well. Thanks for watching, and if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell to get the notifications when I upload new videos.